Chemistry teacher Sandra Everlove likes a challenge. Give her a high school student who claims to hate science. And by the end of the semester, chances are that student will not only be crazy for chemistry, but may even consider science as a career. One reason for this excitement is Science Night, a project that lets teens share the wonders of science with grade schoolers. Another reason is that in Sandra's class, science is a blast. One and two and one, two, three. <laughs> Nitrogen, hydrogen, one pack of matches. Methane and butane, we're playing with gases. Simple reactions, a boom, not a ping. These are a few of my favorite things. I want you to blow up the bag. Oh, man, yeah. Education is not a spectator sport. OK, go ahead. I'm not an artist, but I like artistic things. And I think, for me, science is an art. Teaching science is an art. And you could do it out of a textbook and make it boring, or you could really make it live. One good breath and one science concept behind you called Bernoulli's Principle. You ready? Do you believe me? <gasps> oh, ain't that something? I was in Ms. Everlove's class last year as a junior um, in her chemistry class. I mean, from the moment I first walked in, it was just so much energy in the classroom. She told us, you know, right away, she loved teaching, she loved teaching kids, and it was just about the kids, and I felt um, really, you know, loved by that. When we approach these science nights, we really do approach it as if we're sort of the masters of science. We love science, we're role models, and we go in and we do all kinds of things. Sometimes it feels like paste, and other times it feels hard, like, like almost dry cement. We've already started our, our preparation for Science Night this year. And so what they're doing is they try out different activities. They try to figure out, is it age appropriate? Is it interesting? Is it safe? And is it fun? I think it's pretty cool, but um, only like for fourth, sixth, and seventh graders. And they'll eventually narrow it down to between 15 and 18 hands-on activities, and they'll go to a school and present a science night. Technically, you would think the water would leak out, but this is like an airtight bag, yeah, so all, have, all the water is staying in there for some strange reason. What I want the kids to get out of science night is a chance for them as teenagers to shine, to have some positive feedback about who they are and what they do. This is quite hard. And I want them to get that they are citizens of the world and that they have something to offer and that in serving community, they'll often get back more than they give. She's such a loving person. Like, I mean, all the energy and the aura that comes out of her is just love. And she has no hate for anyone, and, and it's all about service to other people and giving back. And she's, she's got to be one of the greatest teachers and person in the whole world. Well, now you see why I like to do what I do. I would like to thank my friend and colleague, and actually my partner in this project, who should be standing up here with me, Cindy Tierney, one of the finest teachers in Seattle. Um, my students are the greatest. They come from all walks of life. I have no doubt in the past 12 years that I have shared my classroom with the next Martin Luther King, Pablo Neruda, future doctors, great neighbors, great parents. And they deserve to have schools, to me, that are palaces of learning. That when you walk in that building, it should feel like the most important work in the state of Washington is going on that day. And so I've been privileged and honored to teach some of the finest people in the city of Seattle. Thank you very much.